Hi, welcome to our university at Karel de Grote Hogeschool in Antwerp, Belgium. For our course that we have here, Digital Open Office, we are going to install an ISO and from Arch Merge in our system, in our Windows system, Windows 10 at the moment. What have we done already? Some explanations. So this is our school. We have Arch Merge, which is a website where uh, all the communication is done on this ISO, on this distro. And there's Arch Merged, where you'll find information about uh, tutorials. So how to do this, how to do that. We follow the link and we found that there's a SourceForge link where we can download the ISO. We've done that. We went to the Oracle website to download VirtualBox. There's a big button there. And we followed Windows Host and Bob. We've got it. So that's as far as we've gone. So we go to our folder, download folder. So the Arch Merge latest version is available and the virtual box needs to be installed. So let's go ahead and run this thing here and install it all the way. Don't like start menu, don't like this one. That's okay and that's okay. Next, yes, install. He'll ask me some information about my uh, credentials, so I'm going to pause a little bit here. Like so. Credentials have been put in there. And we are going to install Oracle Virtual Machine, that's why it says VM. It's not an actual machine, it's a virtual machine. And we're going to install Windows in Windows, or Linux in Windows, or Mac in Windows, and stuff like that. So a lot of things we can do here. Let's go right ahead and make a new one. And we're going to install Arch Merge in it. Linux is not 32 bits, it's 64 bits. So uh, we have an issue already. So we have to figure out how we get this system to work on 64 bits. Okay, so it's not okay. We need to do something on this particular computer. Let's pause. Okay, that didn't take long. I typed in VirtualBox 32 bits and then you see fixedbyvonny.com. And fixedbyvonny.com is showing us what to do. So you get this message, all 32 bits. And then you have to go to your BIOS, by B O I S, your settings. And you have to be sure that the virtual technology is enabled. I haven't checked on this uh, working computer, so I'll check later. And next thing we have to do is um, go to the Windows key with Q to search and type turn Windows features on or off. Because we need to go get to this image, you will recognize it surely. Turn Windows features on or off. And we have to activate, I suppose, these guys. Let's see where this says here. Quickly displays progress bar. Okay. So we have to remove it, that's it. Yeah. It was enabled, here it is. It was enabled and it should not be enabled. That might be an issue. So I'll try to do all these things. And then bottom line, your host OS is 64 bits. Intel in, are both enabled in BIOS and the uh, hyper platform is disabled. So this is the first bit of my tutorial. I'll have to save it and do all these things before I can continue. It might be possible that you don't have this issue, then of course you don't follow along. Okay, I've booted up again. So I went into the BIOS and I told the hypervisor of virtual technology that it has all kinds of names, Intel virtualization, stuff like that. And you just have to make sure that it's on and I've restarted. So we're back now trying out if will, uh, VirtualBox will show us the 64 bits rather than the 32. So I was clicking, I did click, but does not seem to respond. Let's take a look. Control Shift Escape. Oh, there he is. 
Maybe there were two instances active, that's why I wanted to check. So we want to install Linux. It's an Ubuntu, Gen 2, Turbo Linux, lots of stuff as you can see. There's also an Arch Linux. Actually, Arch Merge is based on Arch Linux. So that's why I choose this one. It doesn't really matter, you know. It's just um, the name. It's um, as, as long as you take 64 bits, it will be just fine. Next one, I have about eight free. So I'm prepared to give half of it to Arch Merge. I'm going to make a new virtual disk. That's OK. And NVIDIA is about all right, dynamically allocated in it says in Dutch. I'm going to take 15 for the hard drive. And I'm going to make it. Let me see if I can change this to English so you can follow as well in English anywhere. Can we change the language would be nice for others. So it's English. OK, better. So we've made an, uh, well, we started already, but it's not finished. We should set the settings a bit better. So it's Linux, okay, fine, advanced. You can share the clipboard if you want to, bidirectional, disable, bidirectional. And that's it here. And in the, that has been set to which supposed to be processors. I have four CPUs, so I'm going to give off. Seems like common sense, common uh, best thing to do. Accelerate, okay, display. Half of my display goes to the system. And enable 3D if we need be. It does not really matter. We're not going to play games, are we? So network, etc., etc. Okay, so the settings have been done. The only thing I have to do now, this is my, my template, so my blank thing. So I always tend to clone this thing and then um, and rename it again. Like maybe, for instance, extra O. Next, full clone. And then I have this blanco, blank template to clone again or other distros I want to try out. So in here, optical drive, choose disk image. We went to the website and we downloaded already an ISO, which is an image DVD, and a file that's really actually an ISO and a file image. Okay, let's get rid of this and let's press enter. This is normal. We'll get rid of the firmware bug once the updates are getting in for this particular bug. But doesn't matter, just uh, Aligning code, everything works. That's what counts. Okay, we're on a small blur uh, laptop, so that means we have some possible changes to make here. Don't want to see this again. We're online. Great. Uh, let's see if we can make it better. I'm not sure what size this laptop has. And I'm going to guess this one. And then Control F. Don't show me again. Switch. Might be good. Not sure. The resolution is good. And then it's up to us to install. What we do next is choose our country. Our country in our city. And then we choose our keyboard, which is Belgian. Next. Erase the disk completely. Next. Put in your name. Rename it. And then your password. And then next. And that's it. You're good to go. And you have to wait till everything installs. I'm going to press Ctrl F again. And then we're out of here. And I'm stopping the recording here. The installation has finished. Pressing Ctrl F again. All done. We can restart now. And say done. 
So we're on Windows 10, we've installed VirtualBox, we are rebooting. This time, we have to tell them not to boot from the ISO, but to boot from the existing OS, or you can just um, pop it out to the ISO, I'll show you how. And now we're actually going to boot into Arch Merge and learn about open source software and all the possibilities to be um, to use software that's um, free, that's virus free as well, and that's very useful like GIMP, Inkscape, Office uh, tools and all that. So here we are, we are on XFCE, this is a possibility for you to try out XFCE, to make it beautiful and to try out software. There are other possibilities, you can log off again, here log out, and at the top here you can try open box if you'd like and go inside there with your password. You'll see that's a bit different. Don't show me this. You have also the same thing, thing here, but there's no menu. Where's my menu? Right mouse click. Here's your menu. Here is everything you need. You can exit this again. And that's a tough cookie, tough uh, tiling window manager. That's i3 for you. It's a bit um, getting used to. It's, it's great, it's, it's fun. But I know I have um, tried it, put it away weeks later, months later, tried it again, and finally I mastered it. But it's not that difficult now because we've all, all shortcuts are the same in XFCE, open box here. So you just need to, to read and learn. And here it says what you need to have, like Super X. Super X is exit, and we can log off again and um, back to XFC, which is probably the easiest one to try. But everything is the same. Firefox will work on the three desktop environments, GIMP, Inkscape, whatever you use, whatever you choose. Oops, I accidentally used Openbox. I wanted you to show XFCE again. So choose XFCE, which is, I think, the least um, well, different from, from Windows. I've particularly as put it down here, the menu, so um, the menu will be well where Windows uh, menu, menu is, and it will work uh, the same, similar. Uh, we'll find out how to use all these things in other tutorials. There's even updates available already. We'll do it here. That's why there are updates. This thing is red. Okay, leave you to it. So we're here on uh, Windows. Control F, uh, maybe for your information, what are we on? So Windows I, we are actually on a Dutch uh, system, of course, but these informations will be the same. So we are on Windows 10 Enterprise. That's what we're on and we'll uh, learn together how to use Arch Merge in our university. Cheers.